This video is brought to you by me. Please subscribe. Appreciate it. So here it is. This is a Amazon Vinjet uh, fog light system for 2002 to 2004 Honda CRV. It's supposed to resemble the factory fog light kit, and I mean, it sort of does the job. I haven't really had my hands on a factory fog light kit, but I've seen quite a few. Um, it's got a couple extra things like these grills, which are, I don't know, questionable. Um, it uh, also comes with brackets and some wetting, all the bolts you need, some zip ties, and uh, a set of bulbs. Uh, they're just clear, cheapy bulbs. I actually uh, don't want to use those. I like yellow fog lights, so I bought these yellow fog lights when I ordered the, uh, the fog light kit itself. So to install these, the first thing you're going to want to do is take off the top plastic uh, cowling and then uh, take all the clips off the bottom of the grill and then once you have all those off you'll be able to just pull the grill off it'll it'll come just give it a little yank and then there's some clips down here on the fender wells there's a couple of phillips screws in there you can also use an eight millimeter socket um, i've already pre-removed these there's just two one on each side And what I didn't show you is make sure you undo the uh, fender walls as well and then the bumper just basically pops right off. Inside the bumper when it's come times to uh, install the fog lights you can see these perforated areas where there's solid material but mostly it's cut. So all you have to do is very very simply take a razor knife and cut the areas that are not cut obviously and uh, Really, that's all you have to do. So once you have them cut, the kit comes with this rubber wetting, which is supposed to create a seal between it and the fog light. It's supposed to just go over the lip like this, but it's really cheap stuff and it uh, doesn't work very well. I'm sure you can make it work, but uh, it's so thin and so flimsy, I don't think it's worth it. So my solution was to get some regular vacuum hose and just split it down the middle and that actually worked as a perfect like buffer slash seal. This absolutely is not necessary. Um, I just wanted to make it a little more like factory and it is sealed so I put it in there it fits better but I mean the whole thing is this kit is kind of cheap and nothing fits exactly perfect so it fills the gaps a little bit but it, like I said it's not required as you can see it you can kind of see it and it's supposed to fill in everything and I think it looks okay but like I said it's not necessary so once you've got the, the lights installed and in the clips with the bolts and everything, we can start working on the wiring. Now the first thing you need to know is that these harnesses are made for right-hand drive vehicles, even when they sell it in the U.S. So there's this wire on the side that's supposed to go up to the switch, but it runs on the passenger side of the vehicle because the battery stuff is on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this wire off, and then we're going to modify it on the other side, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But for now, you need to secure the harness the way I have it. You can see the zip ties holding it onto the frame. You're going to do that, and then you're going to cut the wire right there. So once you have it on, and you have the plug-ins hanging down, and don't worry about that wire that we cut a minute ago, I'll show you that in a minute, we can actually put the bumper on. So we're going to plug in each fog light. It's kind of a crappy fit. Just push it in until it clips. There's going to be a lot of room. Make sure it goes inside the fender liner. If there's enough room to plug it in on both sides. Just make sure nothing's hanging down and everything once you plug it in and make sure your bolts are in tight. And then basically put the bumper on exactly the way that you took it off. And once you get the bumper on, you can don't have to do it right now, but we're going to go ahead and put the grill in. So you pre-put in these two clips and 
might rise them up a little bit and then the grill will just slip in there and then you can push the clips in. It's a little confusing, but when you see it, you'll understand it. Just know there are two clips at the bottom of the grill. Alternatively, you could leave them connected and take the bumper and the grill off as one. I just chose to remove the grill. All right, so get everything in, put your clips in. You can do this after your wiring as well. I'm just showing you right now. All right, so for the wiring, that yellow wire that we cut earlier, we're gonna put a, sh a slice in the sheath right by where the relays are, and we're gonna pull that yellow wire out. And then we're going to give it a snip, and then up by the relays, we're going to pull the wire through the sheath. Now the reason we're doing this is because this is the wire that either gets the power through the switch or from anywhere else in order to tell the relays, which are wired directly to the battery, to turn on the fog lights. So we need to find a place to put these relays. Most people just kind of mount them wherever or just slop them in there, or attach them to the battery or you know whatever laziness they do. But if you notice, the relays have these nice holes in the top of them for them to mount, and so we're going to put them under the fuse box. So there's a lot of wiring here. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of put them under there and figure out how much of the wiring we have to bundle up so we can put zip ties on it and bundle it up nicely before we mount the relays under the box. So we're gonna put them under there, figure it out, put a zip tie on it, you know, make it look nice, bundle it up tight so nothing's hanging or falls out or, you know, drags in the road. Once you've got that on there, you want to make sure that the red wire and the yellow wire have enough room to bring them out because the yellow wire has to be hooked up and the red wire needs to go to the battery. We've already grounded this system with the harness that we did when we put the fog lights across the core. So we're going to put that yellow power wire down there and I'll show you why and then the red wire is going to get run to the battery. But again, we can shorten the wire and make it look nice before we connect it to the terminal. Now instead of connecting to the battery terminal, however, we're going to put it on the fuse box terminal since everything's underneath it anyway, just to make it even cleaner. So and it'll bolt right on. So again, we're going to wrap up the wire, shorten it up so that we don't have a bunch of excess wire. You can wrap it up with tape or the zip ties that come in the kit. And then you're going to take a screwdriver. You should undo the battery when you do this, by the way. I did not. Shame on me. And then put the bolt in and just screw it down. Simple as that. You're gonna have to slightly bend the wire down and then notch the lid of the fuse box a little bit, just a tiny bit to make sure that it clears, but it's a much nicer, much cleaner installation. Now once you get the lid on and uh, you take the yellow wire, and let's make sure the system is actually working correctly. So we can just take the yellow wire and if there's enough showing, you can touch it to the positive terminal and you should be able to hear the relays click and the light should actually turn on anytime they're touching the terminal. So we know it works. So now we're going to figure out what we're gonna do. Now this is the factory switch harness, which is supposed to run a hole through the firewall. That's what the yellow wire is for, but we're not going to do that. The reason we're not going to do that is because there is wiring in the car for this. If you look down where the wiring is in the fuse box, there is this brown plug with the wire. If you go inside the car, there's the other end. This is the factory wire harness for the fog lights. It runs through the car, so you can connect this end to the plug down there by the battery and the wheel well, down where my hand is, and then connect your switch to that part uh, that's inside the car so then you don't have to do anything crazy. Okay, so there's a problem. There are three ways to wire this. There is turn them on with the switch, turn them on using the switch provided in the kit which doesn't actually fit in the dash hole properly because it's for an element, 
or for a 99 to 2000 Civic or a factory switch which I'm getting. So I'm going to do a part two just for the wiring and show you all three ways to wire it properly. So sorry to do that to you but it's going to be another long video because there's going to be three ways and stay tuned.